How many of you would like to be successful in life? Well, I hope each and every one of you said, yes, that's me. I want to be successful. I want to be fruitful and I want to multiply in the things of God and, and in all the good things in life. And you can. Well, our good friend Lance Walnow, who is also an XP Channel host, has some insights on how you can be successful. Here he is. If you take the question, how do you create an attitude of success when all around you is falling? The truth is, you can't create an attitude of success when all around you is falling if you don't have an attitude of success when things aren't falling. You know, the wrong time to build an ark is in the middle of a storm. So the, the real thing is how to create the attitude of success and then how to sustain it regardless of what happens. And for the most part, research has been done on this. It's, it's fascinating. Successful people focus on different things than other people. So it's like this, you know, the higher up you are in the medical profession, the more of a specialist you are. The more successful you are, the more capable you are of making distinctions. So like, you know, for our purposes, if we're talking about supernatural stuff, people that can make distinctions between the body, soul, spirit, what's of me, what's of you, what's of God, uh, it's amazing. The number and quality of distinctions determines your level of proficiency or mastery in any subject. So people that are highly successful know what to focus on. So when a whole bunch of stuff is going on, the successful person knows where they're going. So you take like that, that airplane incident that took place, you know, with the U.S. airplane and the thing could have been a disaster. The pilot is heralded for his, you know, presence of mind. The truth is he had so many hours with so much experience in various weather conditions that he knew what to focus on. Now, I've been, like, for instance, I've been with Rick Joyner. Rick Joyner was talking to me about he's in a plane once. And the co-pilot panics when an engine goes out. And so Rick's focusing on how to bring the plane around to land it with one engine, and the co-pilot in panic is trying to shut off the good engine. And Rick's, go, Rick's hitting the guy, so you don't just sit there, he's whacking him in the head. Now he's got to focus on the co-pilot managing his state, who's panicking and, and going to make it worse, and managing the plane at the same time. People that are successful know what to give their attention to. And here's what I believe the psychology is. The more experience you have with something, the more confident you are. The more confident you are, the better the quality of distinctions that you know that you can make and that are pretty, pretty reasonable. So what you want to do is you want to immerse yourself in whatever field you're in, in a lot of experience. And that includes failure. That includes making mistakes. It includes whatever you're in, get a lot of experience in it because what comes out of that is confidence. Out of confidence comes distinctions. Now, I don't care if the engine goes out. I don't care if the economy goes out. I don't care if your next door neighbor freaks out your focus is going to be on the right next thing to do because you have that you have mastery through a period of time with lots of distinctions so there ain't no shortcut you've got to immerse yourself in any field and have experience in order to have success